this this is like yo saha <laughs> so this is like the uh hold on before we get out here can i have saha do a verse right quick uh-oh <laughs> how do y'all got this um i'll just be like um i'm on the l like it's 3 p.m smoking premium helium why y'all be smoking that medium? You niggas full of shit. Somebody bring me some magnesium. They say when you fall off, you gotta do EDM. Cause y'all DJs more concerned with the BPM. My life should be a feature film. All you niggas is obese. Y'all really need these gems. Get it? I'm trying to make ends meet so I can see a M. I can get you buried black with just a BBM. Delete the sim. I went undercover for the Lord. So all the wrong I did could never be condemned. Yeah, I'm saying that's just like <laughs> that's all I had off the top, man. <laughs> hey, y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy Sahar the Prince, good music, and you are not tuning into Montreality. Hey, terrible. I was a terrible student in class. Uh, people think I'm like really like a smart kid. I had I'm self-taught. Uh, I got kicked out of school in the tenth grade, so I was a terrible student. But I was like, I won all the talent shows. Played varsity and did all that, but as a student, I was terrible. I, really, why I was terrible is because I was writing raps. So that's like, if you call that a terrible student, then hey, they didn't understand. What are you talking about? Like, what do you mean you're gonna be great? No, I'm gonna be fucking great. What do you mean? You can't even pass your class. That don't mean shit because y'all can't teach. Um, wow, that's a great question. Uh, I actually, my first job was at Burger King. That was my first job. It was Burger King, and then uh, after Burger King, I went to, uh, I used to be a land surveyor. So then after that, I was an architect. So, well, I, I, I wasn't an architect, but I worked with an architect. I was like interning, so. I did a lot of different things. Moving service, trap, sell weed, sell everything you could sell. It was just a the normal teenager just trying to get by. Favorite video game would have to be Madden. That was like all the time, that was like favorite video game. And Mario Kart, it's pretty good at Mario Kart. Zelda, mm -hmm. Zelda was dope. Wow, this, what's the what's the dudes who shoot? Is that Tektra, Tek? Something unusual about Swish. Uh, there's no bitches in the studio. <laughs> Not like it used to be, you know, before Kim, it used to be, you know, bitches in the studio. Now, okay, we might, now I don't want to say bitches. There are ladies in the studio, like, when she brings her sisters through and stuff, so that's cool. That's like, you don't get no better than that. Like, just look at all the Kardashians, and you're like, okay, the studio's popping. So, I guess, yeah, that's the only difference is instead of just random chicks in the studio, it's like the Kardashians are in the studio. Yes, sir. Well, you know what's so funny, Crew Winter? Yes, it was a lot of work done for it. It was just, ain't no telling. What, when Def Jam's in the picture, ain't no telling what the hell's going on. So that's the real thing. It ain't, it ain't good music. It's really like it's the proper people know how to facilitate it all. Because people don't understand he's not only a rap artist no more, he's a, a artist, a fashion artist. He's a visual artist. He's a stage artist. It's like, now you're different. Yay is just, man, listen. If it wasn't for Yeezus, y'all wouldn't have on Yeezys. You wouldn't have this shoe right here if it wasn't for the Yeezus album. When you call out every major corporation in the motherfucking world, they listen. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's, you know, he's doubled in six months. His worth is like, 200 million in six months is like all from rants. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, hey, I don't blame him. Rant your ass to death. No, I understand about quality. I understand about fabrics. I spent 10,000 hours at this. I dedicated my life to this. Well, uh, once Jay found me off the internet, he flew me out to Hawaii and I laid a verse on Soul Paul, as y'all heard. And uh, I wasn't supposed to be, I was supposed to write a hook, like do some ideas for the course. And then it was like this long, dope ass beat, as y'all heard. So I just started writing to it because I was excited to be there and I wasn't tired. 
So everybody left the studio. Ye went with his girl and you know everybody scattered and went to the room. So I just wrote a verse and I left the verse at the end of the song so no one would hear it. And Ye himself leaves the beat running. After he played it for Jay and Beyonce, he just leaves the beat, the, the track playing. And my verse just abruptly comes in like, you know, I'm so outraged. They're like, what the fuck is this? And he never heard the rap either. You know what I mean? So they heard it and it was like, yo, that was the dopest shit ever. And that's, she was like, yo, whoever that is, you need to sign him. So, uh, depends who you're talking to. Real hip hop heads, give me the credit I deserve. I feel like a lot of like music people that is not hip hop heads that just want to make vultures and make money off music. Might I say they just like vultures of the culture. They may not give me the respect I deserve, but I tell them all the time. You lock me and your 20 favorite rappers in the room together in a cypher, I'm going to be the last one to walk out. I can almost guarantee you that. So, I mean, that speaks for, <laughs> that's just speaks for itself. Now, when it comes to politics and, you know what I mean, who kisses the most ass, I might not be the best at that. Well, <clears throat> A lot of people don't know, I'm a little, I, 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 I agree with both sides, but what you have to understand about artists like Drake and Kanye, they've already bodied hip hop. They've already reached every plateau, every BET award, MTV award, Grammy you can get for hip hop, they've gotten it. Now, what I've learned is when you get to the Grammys and you're going up against real artists like country singers and see at the BT Awards it's just R and B and rap. At the Grammys it's the it's jazz, gospel, country, pop, rap. It's like so many genres and they have 20 people working on their songs. So you're in the studio trying to write this song by yourself. Whitney Houston in the studio or Dale in the studio with 20 people and she wins the Grammys or Sam Smith win the Grammy because he had 30 people working on this project when you feel like as a rapper you can only have yourself. So that's what I, I think Meek didn't understand in the cases of Drake's and your Kendrick's and when you get to competing for those those legendary Oscars and Grammys and you know what I'm saying, American Music Awards, them people, Justin Bieber is not in the studio by himself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? like. How do you compete by yourself? So that's the biggest thing. But when you first come in, you and your initiation, you need to rap on your own. But as you grow, as you get the, you know what I'm saying? As you get to doing bigger things, you have to hire more people. So uh, the message to the youth, man, is, I know it's gonna sound cliche, but it's love, man. You know, man, as, as a youth, man, I just say it's cool to be you, man. Be yourself. You know, I tell people all the time, man, your lifespan to God is, your lifespan to this world and how long it's been alive is, how, how important is your breath? You know what I'm saying? Like you have those certain moments in your life that you remember. Like when you won first place, you was like, you remember that breath. When them dudes shot at you, you remember that breath. You know what I'm saying? Like when you seen your favorite movie, you remember that breath. It's just make sure your breath is remembered to the world. And that's why you get Jesus. That's how you get Martin Luther King, because their breath and time was remembered.